Tough jobs. Okay, you ready for conversions? I have a question. Yes. Are we supposed to keep it positive or make it negative? Right? I got a negative number. Yep, because it's absolute, we'll just drop the negative. Okay. It just depends on whether it was higher or less than the true value. Yep. Okay. Um, I made I made the unit problems wicked hot. They're hard. They're beasts. Don't wait till Monday morning to try them. Because I want this is we did it for the longest to go. So your brain needs a chance to re-engage. Um, I know it's it's the conversions are tricky, but they're we do this a lot in life. So um, one point twenty one gigawatts. You tell me this sucker is nuclear? No, 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 this sucker is electrical. It needs a nuclear reaction to generate the one point twenty one gigawatts. 80s people, come on. That's a quoting something. Back to the future. Uh, that doesn't mean the 80s have to be dead. They are they were great. The second is a lot better than I used to think. The second back. I didn't know that Biff was actually made in Donald Trump. Donald Trump was the inspiration for Biff. I was reading, I was reading the back of the there's a there's a slimy guy that kind of destroys the town in the future. They made they modeled Donald Trump back. It's because he had a sports betting book that was from the, the future. Like, like, you know, started, like, I, I should look and see if we get a page of us. Okay, remember that's um tape pull off the back page of your uh page two of the review. This is your friend. Remember this little friend? This is this, this the back page of the part two. Now, what the first thing I want to make sure we can do that I think we glossed over too much is the, using the prefixes from the metric conversion table to get you a conversion. That's what this first question is about. So notice, most of this chart is equality. Something is the same as something else the metric prefixes are not equalities so we have to know how to turn the metric prefixes into conversion factors that we can use in our lovely um uh cancel out multiplications so let's give it a whirl in our last little bit um so the name of the energy is gigawatt uh, but he didn't know what a gigawatt was so he said in the film Gigawatt. He invented a new energy. Um, I like gigawatt too. So if you read it, you can choose to use Dr. Brown's version or your own actual version. Who can, who can read our situation? We're looking for what's the unit that we want to end up in. Our process is going to be to choose conversion factors that get rid of the ones we don't want and leave the units that we do. Here we go. Oh, Justin? Oh, great. Yeah. Oh my God. You're giving me quite the look. In the film Back to the Future, Dr. Brown states that the flux capacitor requires 1.21 gigawatts of energy to transport the glorious in time. The physics class, however, uses tools that measure only milliwatts. How many milliwatts must a tool be able to measure to test Dr. Brown's time machine? State your answer in scientific notation. Hint. Oh, thank goodness is a hint. <laughs> Use the metric prefixes to create the conversion factor between gigawatts and milliwatts. Show your conversion process, state your answer to five rounded significant figures, and use scientific notation. And use scientific notation. This is the first one. They get a lot worse. You got to practice. This is a review. I want your brains to be ready for Monday. Pardon? It could be that bad. Hi, Mary. Then you will feel overprepared and you will be awash with confidence and joy, and a peaceful smile, a patina of joy will float above the room. Okay, this is really critical. We have been given two prefixes. Annotate with me, please. Giga. <laughs> giga giga versus milli now my suggestion to you is that you do these in two stages so walk with me through your conversion chart here you're gonna look here's the process so you choose you find the prefix that's used in your number this column the value column 
is how many of the base unit are equal to one of the prefixed units. We'll demonstrate this in a second. So if you take off the prefix in this problem, what unit are we dealing with? A watt. Okay, so the base, we would say the base unit, write this down, base unit is watt. So we're going to generate two conversions. We're going to go from watts to megawatts, because that's what this number tells us. And then we're going to go from the base unit down to milli. This tells us how many milliwatts are in a watt. So we have three ways that we can write these. This will be really important for your brain. So I know from this chart, let's start with giga or giga mega. I, I unlined the wrong one. Where did mega come from? Wrong spot. Where did mega come from? Uh, giga. So this is you gotta you gotta use your brain to make sure you get these conversions right. Is giga a big thing or a small thing? It's big. So that means we're gonna have a lot of watts that go into one gigawatt. In fact, this many watts. So the way we're gonna write it is this chart said 10 to the ninth of the base unit is equal to one of our prefixed unit. See that? I got this value from my chart, and I used, I'm always converting to one of our prefixed units. You have to know how to write this equivalence, or you won't be able to solve these problems consistently. Some of you can do it because you're familiar with like a milli and centi, but what if they give you something weird like hecto, and you're not used to doing hectos? Um, hecto bismol uh, does not help with an atlas. Might be useful taking a math test. Okay, um, so now what are the other two ways that we can write this conversion that might be handy? We can write them as fractions. What are those fractions? Oh God, I need back to these things. Remember how it doesn't, because these are equivalent, they can go on the top and the bottom because we're saying it's one, it's one. So we could write 10 to the ninth watts over one gigawatt. We don't know which one we want to use yet. So we're gonna write both of them down for our brains. Or I can flip it and say one gigawatt on top, one gigawatt, one gigawatt. Uh, I wonder if they thought about having him reshoot the scene. Um, I could also do 10 to the ninth watts on the bottom. Okay, do the same thing for milliwatts, please. Make three conversion factors. How do I get from watts to milliwatts? You need to write something equals something. What equals what? Wait, you said yep, now we're going from the base unit down. Milliwatts are tiny. Gigawatts are big. So write your conversions. I'm going to dump that down your pants. Oh my God. 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 Oh if he would stop talking like a cow, I, I, I don't sense a lot of the love. I sense plenty of the hate. Okay, what are our conversions? Who's got it? Mary, you got it? What equals what? Jalen could help. You're an old pro. You what? Sorry, one more time, Jalen. I said equals one. One what? Wait, you said, say it one more time. 10 to the negative third watts equals what? Equals one. One, one milliwatt. Yeah. Yes. 10 to the negative third watt. This is how many of your base unit equals one of your prefix units. 
Yep. 10 to the negative third watt equals one milliwatt. Good. And then we don't know how we want to write this in our equation yet, or in our conversion. So I could also write this fractionally as 10 to the negative third watt is the same as one milliwatt. Wait, why would it be watt to milliwatt? Shouldn't it be milliwatt to watt? Could it be what? Uh, it, it could, you could multiply this. You could say um, a thousand milliwatts is one watt, but this is more direct off the table. Does that help, Haley? They're both accurate, but one of them is, is more direct from the table. Or one milliwatt is the same as. We're almost done. This is the last stretch, the home stretch. Okay, now we got to solve the problem. You ready? Problem, problem. How do we solve it? That's the great, that's how we want to do it. I say, figure out what the question wants. It wants, it gave us what? Gigawatts. It wants milliwatts. So set up your, give yourself some room to breathe. Great. There's give you yeah get another sheet of paper and breathe on the paper. So <laughs> yeah. uh, So we're gonna start with what we were given one point two one gigawatts. Put it over one to keep yourself organized, and we've got to do something 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 to get us some number of milliwatts. So we've got to figure out how to organize. Remember, our, our pattern is choose the organization that cancels what you don't want, leaving what you do. And you cancel by having on top and bottom. It doesn't matter the order because multiplication is commutative. You can do it in any order. So look at our, what did, what did we, uh, we made these. Which one goes next? We want to cancel gigawatts. So look through your, oh, look. Here's my conversion that has what I want to get rid of on the bottom. Watts isn't where I want to go, but it's closer. So let's try that. So one gigawatt is the same as 10 to the ninth watts, a whole bunch of watts. Don't forget to show your canceling. The gigawatts cancel. If my answer was in watts, I would be happy, but I got to do one more hop. But I'm not afraid because I, I think I've got a candidate that can help. Who's going to help us out? Got a very helpful thing. The one up there. The one on the bottom. Yeah, the watts is on the bottom. So 10 to the negative third watt is the same as one. And I like that because we want milliwatts. Watts are going to cancel. And that's going to leave us with some number of milliwatts. This was a simple one because the unit was not compound. Remember, the units could be milliwatts per hour, oh. meters per second. That's where this goes. So I would try them before Sunday so we can practice them together on Sunday. Um, now you're just calculatoring. So we can put, uh, I'm going to encourage you to put them in just as they are with parentheses and division and let the calculator help you out as much as you can. So um, if there's a one on the bottom, I don't really need to do the division, but if I feel better about just making it look just like the page, uh, you could put the, the one in. So I'm just going to say parentheses 1.21. Um, how can you see? There. Oh, that's better. Okay, 1.21. I don't need to divide it by one, but I can if I feel better about it. Times 10 exponent ninth watts. I can divide it by one if I want, but I don't have to. And then times one divided by negative 10 to the negative third. This is really important. Um, 
that you get the exponent with the negative. Otherwise, it's dividing by a very big number instead of a very small number. So this is where our sanity check comes in. Gigawatt is huge, and we're trying to convert a really big thing measured in really small things. So the number should be great big, whole bunch of milliwatts. Is this what you got? And now I could say scientific, and it would say, is that what we got? No, maybe I have it. Yeah, let's see where I went wrong. Look what I did. I was giving us the caution and I did it wrong. I didn't have the fraction. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. I did it wrong. One divided by 10 to the negative third. Now that's a bunch of milliwatts. That's a lot of milliwatts. Isn't that neat? That's great. Look at that. 1.21 times 10 to the 12th milliwatts is what the flux capacitor needs. Flux capacitor is what makes time travel possible. I was hanging, what does he say? I was, I was hanging, I was hanging and talking like that and I slipped, I fell, and I hit my head on the porcelain. I was knocked out and when I came to, I had a vision. I had a vision of this. Yes, back to future. Okay, um, that's what we had on the agenda for today. Um, take a take a look. Um, so uh, flip 2B-3 is extra credit. The search and rescue one is hard. Um, but I want you to try it. I want something written. So try something. I do. I wrote it. I, want, I wanted to give your brain a good challenge. Why did I do it? Because it's a math class. It's interesting. It's interesting. I want to give when I if you practice a more difficult situation than when you perform, I'll be here for questions if you got them. If you want, if you want to take your folders. Home to study. You must bring them back. You have to come back because I'm going to ask you for all your papers when you take the final so I can assess for that participation. Okay. Let's put your documents on Monday. We'll put everything in. Okay. <laughs> the tests will be useful. The beast? The beast? Yeah. It's not that. It's not that. <laughs> it's not with your thing. There it is. We brought it out when we were working. Okay. Um, don't forget to bring your folders back. Um, do you want to do another conversion? Yeah. Uh, the next one, what does it say? Since time machines are cool, how much energy in terawatts does the flux capacitor require to send somebody back in time? Ooh, what is a terawatt? That I'm getting excited about this one already. Terawatt. Terraforming. Uh, look, terawatts huge. So what's my process? I want to make myself, before I even get worried about what I'm converting, I want to figure out how to do it. Can someone generate me a conversion factor for terawatts to watts? What? Base units. Yeah, watts, 10 to this value in base units. So 10 to the 12 watts is the same as 
one prefixed unit. Yep, one terawatt. I could also write this as 10 to the 12th watts over one terawatt or yeah this is in the this is in the level of entire countries worth of power is measured in terawatts um power plants are usually measured in in megawatts million watts um, so we could also write this as one terawatt is the same as 10 to the 12th Wow. What's a what's a how many watts in a light bulb these days? How many watts does a light bulb use? They used to take yeah, like 60 watt bulbs, and now the federal government said we're not gonna be using incandescent bulbs. So now we generate 60 watts worth of light with like four or eight watts. Yeah, LEDs, LEDs are great. Um pardon? LEDs uh -huh. Uh, it still uses power in watts, but a lot less. It's like 90% less. Uh, incandescent, incandescent lights used heat to make light. So you have wasted all this energy that came off as heat. And LEDs don't use heat to make light. They use semiconductors. Okay, so now we want to get ter some number of terawatts over here. And we want to... Uh, how much, how many terawatts watts does it take to go back in time? Well, we know what about how much it takes to go back. 1.21 gigawatts. Oh no. Oh. But we don't have a gigawatts. How do we get from? You get watts. Oh, we've got it. So remember, go back through your base unit. Go back through your base unit. We already know that. To get from gigawatts to watts, we already did that. Go back in time. Yep, go back to your watts. We know that one gigawatt is 10 to the ninth watts. So your base unit is what you're going to pivot through your base unit. Um, yeah, go, go back to your base. Uh, 10 to the ninth watts. One gigawatt. And now this is handy because now we have our we can pick up our watts to terawatts now. So now we can say, ah, well, I know that which order am I going to put this? This cancels. I'm left with watts, but I want terawatts. I need watts. Which one? Top or bottom? Bottom, I want watts to cancel with my upper watt. Uh, so 10 to the 12 watt, oh, this is looking great, is one terawatt. Watts, oh, look, I'm left with exactly what I want. It's like math. It's so linear, it's so concrete. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff's great. The other stuff, we'll take the other stuff. Okay, what, what are some nominations? It should wait, sanity check. Should it be more or less than 1.21? Mm, less. Less because it's, a terawatt is bigger than a gigawatt, and we only have about one gigawatt. So we should be going to a smaller number as opposed to a bigger number of milliwatts. Let's see, this is great. I, I'm so excited to see what this comes out to be. <laughs> I like math. I think it's cool. I like math too. Math is good. The other math. I'll take the other math. All right. I I got. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Kind of a small smaller number. Point oh oh. One, two, one. Well, I said one. There's my there's my work. One point two one times ten to the ninth times one divided by ten to the twelfth. Are we, are we? We can work on it. 
I'll, I'll get. Uh, so zero point zero zero one two one. So remember how I did my trick. If I want to go to scientific notation, I hit second, and then psi eng, and I can tell it to show me everything in scientific notation. <laughs> but it'll turn your brain to mush if you're not careful. You got to run it through the sanity check. Yeah second and then you choose this means float that means a decimal point can move that's what we're used to so that's the normal number i don't think you'll have a case for engineering second psi so that if a question asks for scientific notation remember you even if it gave you like if it gave you a big number you could type it in like this and then hit enter and if you're in scientific notation mode, it'll just display that number for you in, in scientific notation. So you could use your calculator as a crutch if you, if you get the pitch. The calculator will do as you tell me. Um, I really encourage you to, to find some quality time when your brain is in uh, good working order this weekend, preferably over a few days so you're not cramming. Um, I'll be on Zoom Sunday night at 8, and then in this room at 11, if someone's in this room, I'll have a sign to go to the atrium.